Welcome back everybody. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I like to post all sorts of homemade recipes weekly, so if you consider subscribing, be sure to click that bell notification to get all of my latest videos. Okay, today I'm going to be making a super easy stacked burrito casserole. Basically, whatever filling you like to make burritos with, stack it between layers of flour tortillas and you have a stacked burrito casserole. Here's how I'm going to make it. To get started, I'm going to go over the ingredients for the ground meat filling. Here I have one pound of lean ground beef. This is a 93 to 7 meat to fat ratio. I'm also going to be using one 15 ounce can of drained and rinsed pinto beans. Next, I have a half teaspoon of seasoned salt. You could use regular salt, one teaspoon of chili powder, a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin, and a half teaspoon of cracked black pepper. I'm also using half of a small onion diced. Next, I have two large cloves of minced garlic. And the last ingredient is a four ounce can of green chilies that I've drained. You could also use fresh jalapeno peppers or maybe a can of Rotel. Now I'm going to cook and combine these ingredients. Now for the next type of filling, I'm going to be using 16 ounces of sour cream. I'm going to empty that right into my bowl. I'm also going to be adding four ounces of shredded mozzarella cheese. You could use Monterey Jack cheese or the cheese of your choice. And I'm also going to add a one ounce package of onion soup mix. Now I'm just going to combine and mix together. The next ingredient I will be using is flour tortillas, and these are store-bought, and I've cut some in half to fit along my 9 by 13 baking dish to fit them along the edge. And now I'm ready to put this together. I'm going to go over the ingredients again. Here I have my ground beef filling, my onion soup mix sour cream filling. I'm also going to use 8 ounces of shredded cheddar cheese, one 16-ounce jar of my favorite store-bought salsa, and now I'm ready to put this together. Okay, so now that this is assembled, I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil, and I'm going to be baking this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, covered for 25 minutes. And then, after 25 minutes, I'm going to remove the aluminum foil, and I'm going to continue baking this uncovered 
for an extra 15 minutes or until the cheese on top is golden brown and bubbly. Once my casserole is done, I'm going to remove it from the oven and I'm going to let it set for about 20 minutes before I cut into it. Once I've allowed my casserole to set, each individual slice should come out easily without slipping around and falling apart. This casserole easily serves eight large portions and the filling is definitely up to you. It's very versatile and it's definitely easy to make. Okay, so that definitely is easy and delicious. And again, the filling and type of protein you want to use in your stack burrito is definitely up to you. And the ratios are also up to you. So I hope you guys found that video helpful. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching. Bye.